Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome again to Matt Matthews and I. It's your favorite presenter, Jeff Lino. And today we have a question that we will be having. And the question says um, if a squared plus b squared equals 29, um, a minus b equals 3, find a b. Now, how do we go about solving this type of question? Uh, let us say um, a squared plus b squared equal to 29 is equal to 1, okay? Uh, let us say a minus b equals 3 is equation 2. Now, for equation 2, let us square both sides of the equation. And if we do this, we're going to have something like this. Um, a minus b all squared is equal to 3 all squared. Because why? Whatever you do to the left-hand side of the equation, you also should do to the right-hand side of the equation. Now, if we should expand a minus b all squared, we are going to get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, if we should expand this, or uh, in a love share, um, equal to 3 raised to the power 2 gives us 9. Okay, most of you will be wondering how I got this so easily. I, 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 I actually used a, a Pascal triangle in getting this. But if, in case you don't know how I got this, this was what I did. Now, a minus b all squared simply means um, a minus b and a minus b into two places, okay? Because of the square. Now, if I should expand, this is what I'm going to do. a multiply a to give me a squared and a multiply minus b to give me minus a b, okay? Now, minus b multiply a to give me also minus a b and minus b multiply minus b to give me a positive b squared. So it becomes a squared minus ab minus ab gives us minus 2ab, okay? Because minus 3 you are owing. When you are owing ab and then you are owing again ab, it means you are owing 2ab, right? So it becomes minus 2ab plus b squared. You see the same answer that I got here. But here I use Pascal triangle and I got the same thing. Okay, now let us proceed. Yeah, don't forget that this also can be written in the form of a squared, now plus b squared, okay, minus 2ab equal to 9. Alright, now let's go back to the question in equation 1. Equation 1 was given as a squared plus b squared is 29. So it means where I have a squared plus b squared, I'll give 29. Minus 2ab is equal to 9. Okay, now I'll collect like terms. When 29 crosses to the right hand side of the equation, I'm going to have a negative 29. So here becomes minus 2ab is equal to 9 minus 29. You know, 29 crosses to the right hand side. So here becomes minus 2ab is equal to 9 minus 29 is us minus 20. So for us to get the value of a, b, which we are told to look for in the question, we have to divide both sides by minus 2. Okay? Now when we divide both sides by minus 2, when minus 2 comes to add minus 2, I have a, b is equal to, when negative sign comes to negative sign, and 20 divided by 2 gives us 10. So you see, the value for a, b in this question is 10. This is as simple as this. So you see, I believe you understood what I did and how I solved it. And uh, please, if you know this is your first time joining us, you are welcome to our channel. And please don't forget to subscribe. We have come to the end of today's class. Don't forget to share our videos. And don't forget to keep on watching as much as I. Till we meet again, thank you for watching today. And bye for now.